yours truly back at it again here with our uh, third installment of the wonderful Williams Hotline and sorry for the delay but my computer crashed and took along my video software and you know what that just wasn't fun but the good news is I'm back again and I'm going to go over this machine of what I've done to it uh, I'll give you an overall view first I am close to getting finished with it um, after our overall view though I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go through a few sections of it and I'll show you what I did and uh, hey let's just get into this alright first thing I want to do is I'll start a game on this and what happens is the score wheels will reset uh, we'll get everything else to reset the ball will kick into the shooter lane and it will go to ball one so everything works that way it's just we got a problem with scoring sticking so I'm still working on that that's probably the main issue could be a wire mixed up somewhere in the back head from the squirrels I'll find out here and I'll report back to you what the heck it was in the next installment so let's see what happens here okay there we have it. So all the score wheels reset the zero, as I said. We got ball one ready. It shot the ball into the shooter lane. We got our H here ready to go. It's all ready. But when I hit something, we got coil lock on. So I'll hit this. Nothing happens. I could hit this. And I could hear a coil locking on that shouldn't. I hear some sort of short under the play field. So Good news is the pop bumpers light up the way they should. Anyway, I'll shut this down and we'll get to the rest of it here. All right, as you can see here, we're in the back of the head and nothing's really changed except for the wires here. I took off the uh, zip ties because I wanted to double check my splices and that and make sure that uh, everything was wired up correctly. As I said, I was having a scoring problem with getting the machine to score in general. So it, that wiring checked out. So we're good there and at some point here I'll be zip tying those back together. But uh, that's about it for the back here. So let's move on to inside the motorboard area. All right, here we are inside the motorboard area. And I do have the play field above me, so I have to watch my clearance here. But I had mentioned last time that um, I was going to redo the power here with the, uh, the new wire coming in. And I did do that. I installed a new fuse block there going with the main wiring. And it's a 5 amp slow blow. And uh, I did run the wire here going down to the new on off switch and just kind of go here slowly so I don't make your car sick with the shaking of the video and there's the new switch I'll get some light on it for you yep and that basically looks like uh, a 1970s Williams that's uh, basically how the switch cover and everything goes so now we can turn off the machine without banging the bottom. We just flip that switch just like a regular Williams and bam, it's off. Uh, you still push the left flipper button to turn on the machine as well. So that, that stays. Uh, let's see what else we got. You can see uh, the rest of it's pretty clean. Not much else done there. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a, a pan of the underside of the play field. You can see how nice and neat that is, how clean it is, all the chrome cleaned up, or I shouldn't say chrome, metal, and uh, you know between evaporust and chrome polish it can uh, definitely help you out a lot. So uh, no oil under here unless it's absolutely necessary like on a stepper unit and that, and then again very little. All right, next I'm gonna show you the coin door. So let's do that. All right, here we are on the inside of the coin door. Uh, remember last time I said I was gonna work on the wiring of the uh, coin lockout coil? Well, there it is. 
And we can see there's wires attached to it, that uh, orange, red, and white, blue one. And what I had to do here was I had to run a couple new wires, real easy peasy. I connected it to the existing lock coil in the uh, motorboard. And I had to take out a wire and install two. And you can see I got a new uh, wire protector there, the um, black uh, tube there. And the old one was just plastic and it's cracked, broken, full of grease, so it had to go. But as you can see from the Jones plugs here, everything uh, is hooked up to those. So um, when I disconnect the Jones plug, uh, all the new wires are connected to that, so easy peasy, fast disconnect. And the wires just go over here, will follow on the motor board here. And there's the lock coil and that uh, white blue wire is the one I connected up there. And you know, you can see there's other wires too that are doubled up going to coils. So it looks stock, it looks like it should be there. And then I connected the other wire down where you see that uh, orange wire there uh, on the far end. That's uh, the new one too. Um, so that's uh, basically how you do that and it uh, works out great. No problems. And you can see how nice the coin door looks too on the inside, all nice and clean. All right, I figured uh, in this video with uh, just doing a nice close up of the play field all lit up, how nice it is. All those nice new pop bumpers all rebuilt. Looking really good. Play field's looking really good. I'll scan over here. My finger is there. That's where we had uh, a lot of paint missing in that. That was touched up. And uh, my wife did all that. Did a great job. I put a clear coat over it. So we're set to go. And the rest of it just cleaned up really nicely with uh, naphtha and magic eraser. And some Novus too, And some good old Carnuba wax. So I think uh, I've accomplished my mission here of turning this F machine into a B plus, as I said in my description. Looking like a very clean machine. We just need it to get going, to play a game. Got to do it. So anyway, thanks again, folks. Really appreciate you watching the video. And I'll catch you next time in the last installment. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you that this thing's working and uh, also doing some uh, tips of, of what I've done on this machine and how it relates to it. So uh, watch out for that. So it's coming up. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching and go play some old time pinball. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.